Have you ever just like, what am I doing with my life? Am I making the right decision? Should I go with plan B? Should I have gone with plan B.7250? Who knows, right? always in this sweatshirt when I'm filming but whatever I have these packages I don't know if you've seen them but I need to get them to the post office I've said that for weeks I'm gonna try to do it today I had a kind of rough day at work yesterday so mentally I'm just like unwinding I got up at five with Chris hung out with him for a bit and then I went back to sleep until about one um no, until about 12. It's about like 1 30 now. So I've been out for a bit. I had some coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm hoping by making this video, it will make me want to go take those items to the post office more. Because I also have invites that I need to take to the post office. So I'm hoping if I can at least get the packages done, the invites will be easier. I just ordered my first Christmas cards ever with Chris. So that'll be fun. So see what else happens today because it's my day off and i'm working on my outline so packages i need to put out um, say hi to anastasia and here's all of our wedding invites so i'm gonna go try to get those out today can we have a moment for me putting actual pants on like what i'm in process of getting dressed to go take these things to the post office and we got this Anxiety sucks sometimes, but you know, it's the real, real. All right, your girl got dressed. Still, no matching socks, but. You know, I was thinking about getting, doing your makeup and all this stuff, and I was like, you know, the longer I put this off, the least likely I am to go. So, putting my vans on, and we're gonna go. Yes, we got this. So anxiety takes hold. This is what happens. We start overthinking everything. And yeah, so I'm just gonna put my sweatshirt on, go. I'll check in with you after that's done. So I just finished going in there and doing that. I feel like we all have that one thing we hate doing. For me, it's the post office. I can't explain it, but it gives me super anxiety. And it's something I am working on. So we finished it, we did it. All right, back home, finished it. Woo, did it. So I'm gonna get ready now, cause today is what I call like loop closing day, where I close all the things I have to do. And I've been working on, my outline for a bit my teacher kind of expressed that we should wait for her to grade our discussion board so we can get an accurate understanding of like where we're at which i think is a smart idea so i'm gonna wait for her to do that i will start my other discussion board that is going to aid in helping with the outline so today i'm probably going to do more of like relaxing and kind of just mentally making myself feel better because the rest of this week is me very busy so that is kind of a plan for today I waited two minutes to start this vlog because of my toilet making weird noise. So, alright, I'm basically just getting ready and yeah, so that's what we're doing. If that's not your vibe, you can fast forward for 900 years. Actually, it won't be that long. I don't know how long it'll be. Anyways, I'm just washing my face, putting my contacts in, getting ready for the day. 
And I was thinking, like, when is the last time you made yourself feel good? You know, not like makeup or clothes, but you actually made yourself feel good. And that is what my skincare routine does for me. Gives me a time to reflect on life and just feel good about what I'm doing. So anyways, that's what this is. So, yeah. I actually usually put my contacts in first because contacts for me take longer because I'm not coordinated. So, that's what I'm going to be doing here. So, yeah. Vlog editing is hard. Like, I'm trying to find my vibe, if that makes sense, where, like, friend has a different vibe. less than five minutes without getting back into my Def Leppard sweatshirt so there's that. So I just had a really good cry. <laughs> um, I got my speech back and wasn't what I thought you know where you just like have speech you think that went well and it didn't and I don't know it's just it's hard like we've talked about before this professor isn't great. Um, so she like hasn't graded anything in a couple weeks and the last thing she graded was like four weeks ago. So I have like four assignments that are sitting there. Last assignment I got like a 19 out of 20 on and this one she just gave me like a C, which was very interesting because I followed the rubric to a T. So it's just, it's hard when you have a bad professor. It makes you question yourself and your worth and it's gonna be a rough couple of weeks, but we'll do it. Um, I have, I submitted my topic for my outline. Didn't like that. So, uh, you know, it's her, she's very kind of sending. So I'm trying to, you know, woosa. Um, I'm really excited. I'm changing community colleges and I'm gonna go back to Michigan and take classes there. 
for those classes I've like vetted the professors I've like done rate my professor and everything um but yeah I just want to say it's normal to feel overwhelmed it's normal to cry it's normal to break down work isn't going great right now either so it's just not like a great week but we're gonna make it through and the nice thing is I never take this communication class again one time and then we're done so we got this we can do this I just want to say you are strong you are enough um even when you feel like you're not you are I promise and never think that you're not enough because someone has made you feel less than stellar Support systems are important, so find yours, text them, call them, snap them, Instagram them, DM them, whatever you need to do. Anyways, I just, I am, I try to be really transparent on these videos. I try to be somewhat transparent on Instagram too, but I try to have like a level of like positivity, realism. Um, but here I feel like I just like cry, like have yourself a good cry, it's normal.